In this video, we're going to have a look at adding custom taxonomy pages to Metabox and to give you a quick demonstration of how it works. Here I am in my news category one. So this is my news category and uh, I want to edit that image. So that here's the additional text. So we'll call that news category custom text. So we'll update that text. And then what I'm going to do is change this image. So I'm now going to choose a different file and I'll go with uh, this image and we'll update. There you see the new image and when I go back to the news category now you'll see that that news category has been updated. The next step that we'll look at now is just to go and have a look at the custom fields that we use to generate that. So on the custom fields and uh, Metabox I have these archive fields. So let's have a look at the archive fields. So the first one that we'll look at then is the additional archive text. And what we've done is we've just set it up as a text area field. So additional archive text, that's the ID I gave it. Um, then we set it up as a text area. Uh, there's a placeholder, add more text here. Number of columns is set to 12. And then under settings we've um, so, so the fields were additional archive text and let's just have a look at the other field which was the image so under additional image the ID I said is archive image and then the type is just a standard image file so that was done just here by selecting the standard image file under upload standard image file and the maximum number of files I've limited that to one so we could only upload one file and the rest of the settings remain the same and then what I did under settings is I've said that the location is under taxonomy and the taxonomy is news category so that was the settings for the archive fields and then of course we update and then uh, that means that now when you go and edit your news category you see the additional archive text and the additional image field. And over here now you'll see that it says add new file. So if I go back to my fields and I go back to my additional image and you'll see now the maximum number of files is on zero. So we just change that to a one and we update. And now you'll see that when I refresh the page you can't add any additional images. So very important that we set the maximum number of files to one for the image. Right, with that done, I'm now going to head over to Oxygen and just show you how we set this up. So here we have the image and here we have the text field. So in the image, what we've done is, and I'm just going to show you what happens here. I'm going to add another image file. So you would expect to go add image and then go to your data, go to Metabox field, click on additional image, go to large, insert, and you would expect that to display the image. So what I'm gonna do now is delete the other image. So we're just gonna have the image that I added now, and that was the Metabox field, additional image, size of large, and insert, and save. But when we then go and have a look at our news category, the image isn't displaying. Even though when we edit the news category, we've uploaded the image. And the reason for that is that in order for that image to display, we also need to indicate the taxonomy term ID with the image information. And that's not available through Oxygen. So what we do then is we create a snippet. A snippet and in that snippet we actually get the term ID and that term ID is then used with the value from Metabox so if I now substitute that with my custom function so here I'm now going to select the data now I say PHP function return value and I insert the function name without the brackets at the end insert save and now when I refresh the page you'll actually see that the image is displayed and the reason for that now is 
because of that function. So if we go through the function slowly, step by step, then you'll see that the first thing that we do is we, we check that the term ID get queried object term ID actually exists. And the reason we do that is because if we don't, so I'm now going to comment out that get queried the check to see if that exists, we're going to get this error. So if we see this error on the page, now it's not going to show the error. Let's have a look at that. So now previously the error did display when we <laughs> when I did the search and the reason for that is and the reason I'm laughing is because I'm looking at the wrong page. Here I am on the news category one page and of course the ID exists but if I was just to look at the custom news page and I said here view custom news then I'm going to get this error because the um, because we're looking for the term ID the term ID won't be re returned on the custom news custom post type page uh, in that listing because that ID only exists for a term because it's the term ID and we're not on a term ID page however in oxygen the same template is being used for all the um, page all the um, archive views for this particular custom post type so to look at the custom post type for the default news page as well as the individual taxonomy term pages so in order to ensure that that error um, doesn't arise we make sure that the term exists on that page so now by saying that if the term ID actually exists then display the image so now when we're on the page on on the on the a news home page if you want to call it that archive news page you'll see that there's no image displayed and that's because and there's no error displayed because it's checked to see if that value actually exists and it doesn't exist so it won't show that or try and display the value so what we do is we first check to see if the term id get queried object term id exists and that's only going to exist on a term page which is a taxonomy term and that will be one of the categories within custom news and then the image uh, information will be returned so we in fact don't need that line in our function so you'll see now that it works there and when I go to news category 1 the news category 1 image is returned so we can remove that particular line of code so what we're doing here now is we're saying if the term ID exists then display the image the first thing that we need to do is set the field ID now the field ID is the field ID so here we are on the additional image and the field ID I've created is archive image so the first thing that we're going to do is check that the uh, get the field ID archive image then what we're doing, going to do is get the value. Now, the value that we're going to get here is the meta. So we get the field ID, which is that ID. We then have a look at the array. And what we're saying here is that the object type is a term. So it could be uh, a post. It could be a setting. But in this case, we're returning the custom post um, or the object type as a term and then we insert the term ID so what we're saying here is get the field ID in this array we're checking to make sure that the object type is a term we're going to limit the return value to one and that's the number of images to return but that's already been set in the custom field so we can remove that here so now all that we're going to check now in this particular setting for the value is going to return the meta value it will be the field id in the array we're saying that the object type must be a term and then we stipulate the term id 
that means that, that it will look at the category ID and then get the field value. So then we say for each value as the value use URL equals the value full URL and then we return the use URL value. Now we know that there's only ever going to be one so that means that the values returned from this array will only be one value and we return that value and that value is the full URL. So now when we have a look at our category page what it's doing is it's saying get the metabox value for the custom field for the archive image and it must be a term and the term ID will be the term ID for news category one and then it displays the image so I hope that makes sense we do a similar thing then for the text so we want to make sure that there is actually a text value so what we do is we once again we say if the term ID get queried object term ID exists which means that it must be on a taxonomy page then the field ID equals the additional archive text and that is the field ID additional archive text then we say the value is going to be the field ID which we get here and the object type once again is a term a taxonomy term and the term ID so that makes sure that it gets the value for the term ID that we're on and then we just return the value in this case we just return the value in this case we first said use URL the value full URL because there are a number of values associated with the array that is created for an image. When it comes to a text field there is no array of values it is just simply the text field so that's why here we just say return the value. We don't have to loop through an array to get the value because there is only one value for the text field and that is the text uh, information. So those changes saved and we refreshed so inside if you look at the references inside um, metabox for an image you'll see that there are a number of different values that could be returned in this case we wanted the full URL and so we first get that in the array and then we return the URL, URL and with the text there is only one value so I hope that makes sense. If you'd like to know more you can have a look on the Metabox uh, website in the documentation for all the values returned um, for the different fields. That way you can add different fields um, to the taxonomy page. In my case I just went with some text and with an image. So that's why now when we go and have a look at what we enter then for the text you will see here that we simply enter the function value so insert data we then go to php function return value we just copy the name of our function put that into the function name without the brackets insert and save and now of course the value is returned so that just means now that if we edit the news category and I added more text and I updated that and then I viewed the news category you would see add more text. So that's how you can add a custom image with some custom text to a taxonomy page. Right, that's how easy it is then to do that using Metabox and Oxygen Builder. I hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching.